chants calling for the fall of the recently sworn-in president, Manuel Merino. Thousands of people gathered in the capital, Lima, to protest his sudden rise to Peru's top position. During the day, protests were peaceful, but just hours later, the police presence increased dramatically. Tear gas detonations were witnessed for hours. Demonstrators denounced the use of force. The protests were very peaceful, and out of nowhere the tear gas bombs fell. There were infiltrators and chaos broke out. I've seen people with swollen faces, with swollen forehead, with wounds on their legs and broken arms, aggression from all sides. There are several wounded, we are helping them, some left in ambulance, but they are fine now. Chaos took over parts of Lima's center. The number of people injured grew. A volunteer brigade of emergency care workers said it was difficult to keep up. We have assisted lots of people. I counted 25. Then we lost count. Head wounds, pellet wounds. I treated some journalists. We have sent some wounded to hospitals because they needed stitches, probably due to the impact of tear gas canisters fired directly at them. Anger increased when news came out that two protesters had died. Even after the city went into curfew, dozens of people remained on the streets, standing in defiance of Peru's authorities.